morning friends and welcome to our channel genius structures i am your host dr suman kulkarni uh, today we are going to start with a new topic uh, that is moment distribution method one more uh, way of analyzing continuous beams as well as portal frames now the title of this method is moment distribution so naturally we have to distribute the moment to the members now where is this moment coming it is coming on the common joints on the supports because of external loading so uh, whatever is the fixed end moment that we calculate because of external loading uh, this uh, external loading creates an unbalanced moment at the intermediate supports in case of uh, continuous beams and whatever the unbalanced moment is there it is to be distributed uh, proportionately uh, to the adjoining members wherever the members are meeting at any particular joint this is applicable to portal frames also and based on this method IS 456-2000 has also mentioned about the core coefficient method uh, that means some constants have been introduced by the IS code uh, in order to make the analysis of continuous beams easy and less time consuming so let us now start with the introduction of moment distribution method so as you can see uh, I have drawn uh, one diagram here and I have uh, given some explanation for this so I will just uh, introduce uh, distribution factor concept to you this will be required to solve or uh, the analysis of or to analyze uh, any continuous beam or frame by moment distribution method uh, so instead of uh, reading this first understand this diagram now uh, we can see there are few members four members precisely which are meeting at joint E which is a common joint okay from joint E there is one member EA its end is fixed second member is EB its end is also fixed then EC it is either hinge roller or simply supported end and fourth member is ED its end is also fixed for each member I have given numbering 1, 2, 3, 4 its I values I1, I2, I3 and I4 and finally I have given uh, lengths of all these members L1, L2, L3 and L4 so okay so all these members are meeting at a joint E and this joint is subjected to a clockwise couple capital M okay now if you remember uh, we have a standard result for two cases okay uh, one is a prop cantilever beam and another is yes that is the uh, yes another case is a simply supported end prop cantilever end and simply supported end okay so both the cases we can see here if you see this is fixed end and this is hinged end so for this member uh, prop cantilever case is applicable this case is applicable for EB member also and ED member also however for EC it is simply supported end <coughs> and we already know the derivation for prop cantilever beam subjected to a clockwise moment at the simply supported end so when that moment M is applied what is the stiffness of the member that will be 4EI by L so that is what I have written and for simply supported end stiffness will be 3EI by L what is stiffness in short moment required for unit rotation of the joint okay moment required for unit rotation of the joint is the stiffness 
and if you multiply to this stiffness by theta you will get moment okay so uh, moment required to rotate member 1 through theta is m1 is equal to 4 e i1 upon l1 into theta this is the standard result for prop cantilever case because first uh, member is of prop cantilever l second is same member 2 through theta moment required to rotate member 2 through theta is m2 it is equal to 4 e i2 upon l2 into theta then member 3 it is different m3 will be 3 e i3 upon l3 into theta because uh, end support conditions are different both ends are simply supported here one end is hinge another is fixed in fourth member again same as that of first and second so 4 e i by i4 upon l4 into theta now uh, whatever the moment values are there we have taken their proportions m1 is to m2 is to m3 is to m4 these are equal to their respective values 4 e i1 upon l1 into theta 4 e i2 upon l2 into theta 3 e i3 upon l3 into theta and 4 e i4 upon l4 into theta now to this we have divided by 4 e theta so if you divide this by 4 e theta what you will get i1 upon l1 which is first term then i2 upon l2 second term here we have divided by 4 e theta okay so e into theta gets cancelled from here so 3 by 4 i3 upon l3 then last term is i4 upon l4 so this is the ratio so moments we are getting in terms of i by l ratio okay then what we can say is if the member is having fixed end then moment will be in the ratio of i by l if it is hinge then moment will be 3 fourths of i by l okay uh, one more thing since uh, four members are meeting at the joint so uh, moment in each member will be equal to external moment on joint E okay so external moment on joint E is a couple M and moment of each member is M1 M2 M3 M4 so add all the moments together we will get total external moment next what I have done I have taken a ratio of M1 that is moment in member 1 divided by this ratio i1 upon l1 okay stiffness so i1 upon l1 m1 divided by i1 upon l1 this ratio will be proportionate to total moment m divided by total stiffness of all the members total stiffness of all the members so i1 upon l1 for first member i2 l2 i2 by l2 for second member 3 fourths of i3 upon l3 for third member and last one is i4 upon l4 so um, moment of first member divided by stiffness of first member it is equal to total moment divided by total stiffness for this particular joint further i have simplified this i have taken i1 upon l1 to the numerator here denominator is as is as it is into this moment m okay so i have got m1 is equal to this ratio multiplied by m so this ratio is designated as d1 d1 is nothing but distribution factor for member one distribution factor for member one so how can we define the distribution factor so now we can define the distribution factor like this uh, as discussed earlier d1 this is d1 what is d1 distribution factor for member 1 so in general if i have to define distribution factor i will write 
stiffness of the member which is uh, i by l of that particular member divided by uh, what is this in the bracket sum of stiffnesses i by l values of all the members meeting at the joint so we saw uh, there were four members meeting at the joint so we have four i by l values as per the boundary condition so for any particular member if this is the boundary condition propped cantilever beam then distribution factor for that particular member is i by l and if the boundary condition is simply supported and for any particular member distribution factor will be 3 fourth of i by l so friends we will make use of this concept and uh, we will start analyzing the continuous beams as well as portal frames by moment distribution method so friends uh, this is my concept for moment distribution method if you like the video please like and subscribe the channel if you have any difficulties or if you like this do write something in the comment section thank you very much